Am I the asshole for stopping buying groceries for my family after they started charging me rent? After college, I moved back in with my parents to focus on paying off my student loans. I've been fortunate that my parents have let me live the last three years completely rent-free. I am super appreciative of them letting me live rent-free. I've tried to help out around the house as much as possible. I do the majority of the yard work and help with maintenance around the house. One of the main ways I've contributed over the last three years is buying the groceries for the rest of the house both my parents and my older brother. All in all, it's about $600 to $700 a month. This was something that I just started occasionally doing and soon became just something that I did for the family. I was never asked to do it. Last month my parents asked me to start paying rent, I don't have an issue with this, but they asked me to pay $750 a month. I thought that they wanted a more similar situation that they had with my older brother. Who pays rent, same amount, but doesn't contribute around the house, so I agreed and wrote them a check for that month on the spot. It's important to note that I had already gone to the grocery that month, so we had a fully stocked pantry. Come to the start of this month, I paid my rent on the first of the month and thought everything was settled. A few days into the month, after I get home from work, my dad casually mentions that we don't have any food in the house and when I'm going to go to the store. I was caught off guard and said that I'd be happy to do the shopping on my day off but would need some money to pay for everything. He seemed confused by this and brought up that I had never asked for money before. I reminded him that I had started paying rent and couldn't afford rent and feed the whole family. This lead to a huge argument, and now everyone is pissed at everyone else. I really don't think I'm in the wrong here. I might not have been paying rent, but I have more than made up for it in other ways, including buying the groceries for my whole family. And hash x200b. Too long did not read, I live rent-free with my parents and older brother. To say thank you and contribute to the household, I started buying the groceries for the house. My parents asked me to start paying rent, the same amount that charge my brother. This leads me to no longer buying groceries for the family. Now everyone is angry. Not the asshole. Pretty much like everyone else said, if you were spending $600 minus $700 on groceries every month, you were paying rent. If they want additional rent money, you should just move out. $1,300 per month, $750 plus grocery money, should be more than enough to get your own place. Not the asshole. Classic entitlement. They didn't realize you were contributing. You were already paying a rent, in a way without it being directly financial. At best I can assume obliviousness. Dot but, I think they were trying to double dip you. Stand firm good buddy, you did the right thing. Not the asshole. you no longer have to contribute to the groceries now that you are tenant. Why can't your brother be the one to furnish the fridge? They are trying to take advantage of you. Personally I would just move out but I understand it depends in the area. Almost impossible to find rent at that price in Cali. Not the asshole. You basically paid rent all the time. Now it has another name so if they want you to go get groceries they have to give you money cause now they have the money for food in their hands and not yours anymore. Not the asshole. Everyone should be contributing to groceries, not just you. I realized before the rent agreement that was your way of pitching in and giving back but now that you do have a rent payment of $750, groceries should be paid by everyone. Also, you said your brother is paying the same amount as you. Main it's just in my state but for a five-bedroom house it's $1,500. Is it the same in your state? Because that would mean that you and your brother are paying the entire rent whereas your parents aren't chipping in at all. Nah, you're good, you were just helping out, you were never obligated to do it in the first place. In hindsight, it might have been useful to mention to your parents when they asked you to pay rent that you couldn't afford both. It definitely is an asshole move for your parents to expect you to pay rent and buy groceries. Not the asshole, you were essentially already paying rent. What the hell? 700 is a lot, in lots of places you could just get your own flat for that. Not the asshole. You were paying rent before, it was just in groceries instead of money. They wanted you to switch the currency in which you paid the rent, so you did. They don't get both your rent and free groceries. Not the asshole and when you move out they'll get nothing, so there's that. Not the asshole it's not fair to charge you rent and expect you to cover 600 to 700 in grocery costs. 
If that's the case, you're better off moving out with a roommate. Edit. Don't pay both. Everyone should be contributing. If they insist, start looking for your own place. Not the asshole. Dad, you never asked for money before. You, neither did you dad. Not the asshole. $600 is more than I pay in rent every month so I couldn't afford that and then $750 either. What the hell are your parents spending the money on? I'd offer to contribute some money towards the grocery cost, $50 minus $100 depending, but there's no way I'd pay both rent and then food for four people in the house as well. Not the asshole. You pay rent and take care of your own food. Honestly, $750 seems a lot for a room. Not the asshole and remember that you should also be doing less of the chores and only as much as your brother does. Otherwise you might as well rent a room and lead an easier life. So let me make sure I have this rigeth. They want you to pay $750 for one bed with lights and water ECT. Okay little much for me I say this because your brother is paying the same Amuni Thats $1500. Then they also want you and only you to buy all the food for a family of four and spending 600 to 700 in food. That would have you paying about 1400 a month give or take depending how much food cost that month. So what are they paying? I am gonna go with not the asshole. I would tell them nope I cannot pay both 750 should be enough to cover you room lights water and food now oh would tell them but if you want to charge us all the same I could add 100 for food a month. I still think 850 would be too much but I would find another place before I gave them 750 and then got the food for everyone. Info. So is it they are angry at you or arguing amongst one another? Not the asshole but what do you guys eat to be spending 600 to 700 on groceries every month? Not the asshole. You do not pay for other people's food. It was only okay before because you weren't paying for anything else. Buy your food. Though I'd expect them to buy everyone's given you are now paying them a lot of money, but not anyone else's. Not the asshole. what are they even going to use that money for if it's not to provide for the house? I can't say this loud enough, dot not the asshole. Dot. I moved in with my fiancé just over a year ago. He makes significantly more than I do, double actually. He has a nice house on land and we love it. But, I can't afford my bills, student loans, CC debt from college, etc., half the mortgage, used to have four roommates in a house, and half of everything else. So we made a compromise. I pay the utilities, buy groceries, cook and do the general housework inside. I love this because I love to cook, he can't lol, and I'm kind of a neat freak. Like many have said previously you were already paying rent in other ways. Not the asshole. They want you to pay 1300 a month. Just get your own place. Not the asshole. Y'all need to have a household meeting. Lay out rent, utilities, chores and groceries and divide it evenly and fairly. Not the asshole. They failed to think about how much they saved on food now they have the surprised Pikachu face. Well, better communication early on might have avoided this fight, but what's done is done. You didn't anticipate being charged rent, and they didn't anticipate losing their free groceries. A compromise, if you can afford it, is to buy your own food and pay the rent they ask. They can buy their own food. Not the asshole you should pay a one-quarter share of the grocery costs now. Not the asshole if this is the same arrangement your brother has then they cannot expect both ways. You pay rent. You don't need to contribute to feed the entire family. Now if you chip in then your brother needs to chip in as well. Not the asshole. Are you a woman? Son gets to slack and daughter gets to help around the house. Even if you're not a woman, it's unfair. Time for a meeting with the whole family. Ignoring all the discussion of how much rent is in various places, the main point to me is that your brother is also living with your parents and pays $750 a month and nothing else. You shouldn't be expected to pay $750 plus groceries if he's not expected to do the same. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. They have two options. One, have you only buy groceries. Or, dot. Two, you only pay rent. They can't have it both ways that's not how this works. Haha <laughs> this is weird to me since in my culture you could be 40 and your parents won't make you pay rent. The older brother has no right to be upset at all. He's been paying rent and getting free groceries. 
your parents need a reality check, because it's one thing to ask for rent, and it's another thing to expect one child to be feeding the whole grown family. $600 minus $700 a month. You have been paying rent. Not the asshole. Can I suggest using this $700 to rent elsewhere? How are they getting $750 from two sources plus presumably their own and not capable of feeding themselves? They can literally take the $750 they are demanding from you and spend it on groceries for the house. Not the asshole. Not the asshole is someone who has lived rent-free in my mom's house. We had a deal. I do housework, take care of the animals, vacuum, abide by her rules, and buy like 80% of the groceries. In return, no rent. It's a fair deal. Your parents were mooching off you whether they realized it or not. Stop offering solutions. It's no longer your problem. You paid rent they refuse to give it back. They either choose groceries or rent and if they choose groceries the shopping starts next month since you already paid for this month. You are too nice. There's no reason why your dad and brother sit on their ass and do no shopping. Your mom enables them that's on her but you need to stop enabling your mother father and brother. Not the asshole. It's unreasonable of them to assume you'd continue contributing more around the house if you were paying the same rent as your brother. I think they took your contributions for granted, not realizing the extent you'd been contributing to the household until you stopped. If you're now paying rent, it would be more fair to take the money you were spending on groceries and divide it by three, your parents, your brother and you. So each person would be responsible for between $200 to $235 each month in groceries. Whose idea was it for you to pay rent? And who did they think was paying for the groceries? Was it fairies? Did you have magical coins? And why wouldn't they talk it over with you first? This has all the hallmarks of bad communication and no one putting 2 plus 2 together. Not the asshole. Ha. Huh. Penny wise, pound foolish. If your dad sat and thought of the actual worth of all your contributions he would have known it was a great deal but then we would have to think. Paying rent while living with parents? That is such a West notion. Thank God this isn't prevalent back where I live. Not the asshole, if you're not going to eat the groceries either. Not the asshole. Your family cannot ask you to pay rent and then also expect you to continue feeding them. They're being selfish. You're working towards paying off a significant debt. It's not like you're just throwing your money at nonsense. They have to pick on, rent or groceries. NTA. You didn't live there rent free. You bought groceries for the same amount as you are now paying rent. Not the asshole. You already basically paid double rent the first month, and then paid it again diligently. These people are nutty thinking they can just get more and more out of you. Not the asshole. I was in a very similar situation when I moved in with my parents in February. I was spending so much on food that I wasn't eating and being charged rent on top of that. My other sibling wasn't being charged rent which would be the difference here. I've moved out now. Moved out in November. Best decision I've made. Not the asshole how could you possibly be the asshole here? You are paying the same rent as your brother. Why would you pay for groceries and him not? Seems like they are really taking advantage of you. Not the asshole. Explain to your dad that the money you're now paying was the money you used to buy groceries with. Now that the money is in his possession he is welcome to purchase groceries with it too. Not the asshole expecting rent plus you to still cover the groceries is unreasonable and therefore they are taz. Not the asshole don't let them coerce you into buying groceries. They can't have their cake and eat it too. They want rent but they still expect a rent's worth of groceries every month. Yay right. Not the asshole. If they want you to contribute that's fine. You thought you were in a similar situation as your brother and paid rent on the first of the month and now they're asking you to practically pay rent again. If your family realizes the problem and move on, then everything is solved but if they make an issue out of it then they're the awe. Try to save up so you can move out if this continues to be an issue. Edit. Sentence wasn't complete. 